I never really considered myself like a DJ. I mean, it was just collectors. So to me, it was just like we gathered collectors and they shared their music. I am not a DJ. I'm a collector. Pretty in the morning light. Any kind of soul music like that that can raise the hair on my arms, it's over. I got to have that record. the sweetness of the tunes. It was something that really appealed to me. And then of course, growing up in Southern California, I mean, how could you not? Any feeling you have, there's a song title for exactly what you're going through. We're not just the angel baby culture, you know, I'm your puppet. We have thousands of songs that we listen to. Oh, why, why, how I love that girl. to share your music because the people would want to hear it. Then we just started doing shows. All these people show up. What the shit we live for right here? I didn't think, you know, like, who's coming to see people play records? If you should see me and I'm smiling. These are the compilations that we would buy here and there at the swap meet. These are the people who put them out. You see them play it, it's not live, but it's like, man, that's the closest that I'm gonna get to hearing this record played in a live setting. One of the things that I liked most about bringing out the records and being able to share them with, with people is that it gave some of us the opportunity to travel. Ruben Morina gave us lectures about how he found the music through his life. That is very important information for us. Con respeto a la raza. I really love you. you know, this kind of music has brought a lot of people that at one time we probably didn't see eye to eye. There's a lot of different people that come in, you know, and they all love the same music. It's a different kind of game. This is where we eat, sleep, and breathe this stuff. It's a lifestyle. You love me. You love me.